There have been fresh clashes in Jerusalem. Israeli police clashed with Palestinian protesters in a tense East Jerusalem neighborhood after Friday prayers. Protesters prayed in Silwan in solidarity with dozens of Palestinian families in the neighborhood who are at risk of eviction or of having their homes demolished for a planned archaeological park. The neighborhood has seen sporadic protests and clashes with Israeli security forces in recent weeks. Israel captured East Jerusalem in the 1967 war and annexed it in a move not recognized internationally. It considers the entire city as unified capital. The Palestinians want East Jerusalem to be the capital of their future state. Israeli-Palestinian tensions in Jerusalem boiled over in May and helped ignite an 11-day war between Israel and Palestinian militant group Hamas in Gaza. Meanwhile, Israeli settlers left an illegal outpost in the occupied West Bank on Friday in adherence to an agreement struck with nationalist Premier Naftali Bennett's new government. With Israeli military and police on site, the last cars streamed out of the Eviatar site, which is near the Palestinian city of Nablus, in compliance with the 4 p.m. deadline to leave the outpost. En fait, le peuple juif, durant 2000 ans, il a, il a rêvé de revenir sur sa terre, sur notre terre, qui a, ça a été promis par notre Dieu, qu'après 2000 ans, on va revenir ici. Et c'est quelque chose, on a un amour pour la terre d'Israël qui, on ne peut même pas expliquer quelque chose à un amour. The settlers had, in a matter of weeks, built rudimentary concrete homes and set up shacks and tents on a hilltop near the northern West Bank. Under the terms of the deal published by Israeli government on Thursday, the settlers had to leave by Friday afternoon, but their structures can remain and will be guarded by Israel's military. The defense ministry said it will now study the area to assess whether it can, under Israeli law, be declared state land. Should that happen, Israel could then authorize a religious school to be built at Aviatar, which residents and residences for its staff and students as well. Now, the settlers voiced confidence they would return, even leaving dozens of religious texts behind, lining bookshelves in the makeshift synagogue. The Palestinians, meanwhile, who claimed the land as their own, had harassed the settlers by burning car tires, sounding horns and pointing laser beams at them, leading to deadly clashes with Israeli security forces. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.